Hi friends, my name is Pandra Gupta. So in this video, I am going to explain you about pseudopodia. This is one of the most important topic, friends. Listen carefully. This, this will be asked in your examinations of intermediate zoology. Okay. So these pseudopodia are found in rhizopods. So what is meant by rhizopods? Rhizopods is a phylum. Uh, is a phylum range which will be seen in your scientific classification of amoeba. So this is the structure of amoeba. And if you see in the amoeba, it consists of nucleus, food vacuole, contractile vacuole, and pseudopodium. This is the pseudopodium which I have indicated with blue color marker over here, right? This is known as pseudopodium. So what is the main function of this food vacuole? Storage of food. And this, uh, it is nucleus. It is a mononucleus, right? And coming to here, it, it is extracted from Greek word. It is a Greek word extracted. And what is meant by pseudo? Pseudo means pass, and podia means foot. Podia means foot. So it is a temporary structure. So if you see here, instead of false, if, if there is a presence of true, then it doesn't become temporary structure. It becomes permanent structure. As it is a false, then it becomes temporary structure, right? So this pseudopodia is a temporary structure. Why it is temporary structure? Because the name itself indicates that it is false foot. False means temporary. If it becomes true, then we can say it is a permanent structure. Okay. So coming to the fourth one, extensions are arranged from the cytoplasm. So this normally the pseudopodia, pseudopodia are the extensions. If you see here, this is the extension, right? If you see, this is the amoeba structure, and within the amoeba structure, there is a presence of pseudopodium over here, right? And from this pseudopodium, uh, sorry, the, from this amoeba, the pseudopodium is extracted. That is nothing but extension of this pseudopodium takes place from the amoeba structure. That is nothing but from the cytoplasm of the amoeba. Okay, so. What is meant by pseudopodia? Pseudopodia is an extension which is mainly arranged from the cytoplasm. And the best example we took here is amoeba, so I explain you in this amoeba itself. Okay. So coming to the fifth one, uh, the locomotion. The locomotion and collection of food. So that is nothing but pseudopodia helps in locomotion. Locomotion is nothing but movement. Movement. With the, with the help of pseudopodia, this uh, the organism can move. That is nothing but locomotion, is nothing but movement and collection of food. They can also collect with food with the help of pseudopodia itself. For example, if, if, if you take in our case, that is nothing but in the human being's case, uh, our legs mainly helps in the movement, right? Our movement. So in this case, in this case of rhizopods, this pseudopodia, with the help of the pseudopodia, it can undergo locomotion. That is nothing but movement and collection of food, right? So with, with the help of our hands only, we can collect the food. So with the help of this pseudopodia only, they can collect the food. So coming to the next point, conversation of gel and soil takes place with the help of pseudopodia. Takes place in the pseudopodia. So if uh, gel and normally this can be explained by gel and soil theory, uh, or as soil and gel theory. That's nothing but soil and gel theory transformation theory, which can be explained by amoeba movement. So now I explain you about amoeba movement. Listen carefully, okay? So now I'm going to explain you about soil gel theory. Listen properly, friends. This is one of the most important topic which will be asked in your entrance examination or also in your IP examinations of intermediate zoology also. So now I am going to explain the soul gel theory and the soul gel theory was first proposed by Hyman. Was firstly proposed by Hyman and the soul gel theory can be explained by amoeba movement. So this now I will explain you about amoeba movement. Amoeba movement is nothing but the movement of pseudopodia towards forward direction or as displacement of the pseudopodia which is mainly present in the amoeba towards forward direction is known as amoeba movement. So how this pseudopodia will undergo movement? That's nothing but how it step forwards. I'll explain you now. There is a mechanism left over here. So normally we have plasma soil and plasma gel and that plasma soil is mainly present in the inner cytoplasm of the amoeba. So this is green color one which I have drawn here with blue color dot like structures here known as plasma soil. And the outer cytoplasm is nothing but it consists of gel. This is the outer cytoplasm which I had indicated with black dots is known as gel. So this gel is known as plasma gel. The full name is plasma gel and the full name is plasma soul. Okay. And if you see here, the gel is when the plasma gel is converted to plasma soul, then it mainly utilizes water molecule and that process is known as solation. And when this soul plasma soul gets converted to plasma gel, then it releases water molecule and that phenomenon is known as gelation. So listen properly, like again I am saying you, when the plasma gel gets converted to plasma soul, then it utilizes a water molecule, then that phenomenon is known as solution. And when this soul, plasma soul will gets converted to plasma gel, then the process is known as gelation, where water molecule will get released. And solution and gelation together is said to be a soil gel transformation. Okay? And the same phenomena will be applied in this amoeba also, to undergo locomotion of pseudopodia. 
so how let us see now so this is a normal position of the amoeba so this this green color structure which, which consists of blue color dots is known as plasmosol which is mainly present in the inner cytoplasm and this black color dots which are present which are there here is known as plasma gel which is mainly present in the outer cytoplasm right and this absorbs water molecules this absorb water molecules the normal portion of this amoeba will absorb water molecule then what happens the one of the pseudopodia will get protruded out normal portion of the pseudopodia will get protruded out due, due to the addition of water molecule when more amount of water molecule will be intake by this amoeba then what happens uh, it get bulged all of the molecules will move forward to one direction in the part of pseudopodia at the part of pseudopodia and it gets bulged in such a way that it gets protruded out it gets uh, extended out okay so again it gets extended out and it mainly forms the second structure if you see this is the second structure it mainly forms the second structure so again in the second structure what happens after it gets protruded out then again it releases water molecule uh, sorry up to here in the second step what happens is it protruded out right so after this protrudation then what happens there is a little movement of that amoeba the amoeba will move forward little little direction okay then what happens again when this when the water molecule will be released out from the amoeba again then what happens this amoeba will move again to the third uh, third uh, uh, that's nothing but again comes to the stable form that is nothing but if you see here it gets bulged over here right due to the presence of water molecule uh, which is mainly absorbed in the first step right and within the second step what happens uh, the bulge with the all of that molecules which are mainly present in this amoeba will move towards pseudopodia in such a way that that pseudopodia will get protruded out that is nothing but it gets bulged out and it gets extended in a simple words we can say it gets extended so what happens is in the second step what happens again the water molecule will be loosed will be released out so that's nothing but soil gel transformation water molecule will be released out so due to the release of water molecule what happens again it comes to the normal position so within these three steps what happened movement of the amoeba takes place over in the here if you see here what normal if in the first step what happens norm it is a normal position coming to the second step the there is a slightly bulged part which you can see in the pseudopodium part right and due to that uh, bulged part it undergoes a movement it undergoes a movement and totally it comes again to the stable form by releasing of water molecule okay so that's what that's what we have written here is right so this gel is converted to soil by addition of water here the water is added right so here gel to soil transformation takes place from one to two from first step to second step gel to soil transformation takes place and again the soil the plasma soil will get converted to plasma gel by releasing of water molecule again from this second step to third step soil gel transformation takes place that's nothing but releasing of water molecule takes place again it comes to the stable form okay so this is the reason behind this whole gel theory and next this amoeba locomotion is a primitive locomotion in such a way that uh, you know this process takes place very slow hence it is said to be a slow type of locomotion because it takes much time to get protruded out to get extended out so it is said to be a slow type of locomotion and this is about the pseudopodia which can be seen even in the amoeba and this, this is about the soil gel theory. So thank you for watching this video guys. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, please comment in the comment box. And don't forget to read this answer. It is very important. Thank you.